Welcome back, everybody. It's raining. Oh, it's raining hard. Gotta get out of here. Where are we gonna go, though? How are y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Charles Barkley? Charlotte? Who's Charlotte? Oh. Wait, is Charlotte... Yeah. Let's go talk to Charlotte. See how she's doing. Charlotte's the widow, right? I'm pretty sure she's the widow. Who was the name of the lady who had the... Who had Bertram and... Magnifico? I can't remember her name, but... What are you? Oh, Rocky Mountain? No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, hey there. How are you feeling, man? Much better than I felt in a long time. I, this rain. If we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. You look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm going to learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. How's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. And you're pulling up before you shoot. You're getting scared. Is that not what Aristotle said? Uh, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but uh, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady, and firm. Mm -hmm. and just focus. Breathe slowly. Arthur Riz. Always put the trigger on empty lock. Here, I'll show you. Do, 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 do. Okay. Come this weapon is. Oh, okay. okay. I'll snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. Well. All right. You try that. Remember. I am on PC. See, she pulls up. Useless. Not bad. Just kidding, that's so <laughs> mean. Shoot three bottles. You got it. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, come on. Yes! I hit it! There you go. I hit it, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> it didn't just explode on its own. What can I say? I'm such a Thank smart you. mouth. You're welcome. I still have some of the rabbit lamps that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Okay. Sure. I'll join you for a meal. What if she's some like secret psycho murderer and like actually killed her husband? And she's gonna try and kill us next? That would be such a huge plot twist. I'd be so confused. But she's not. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Okay. Nice home you got here. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. Rabbit stew. You helped me to catch it after all. <laughs> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. She you are a good it. man. No. Just kidding. <laughs> you don't really know me. I know enough. 
There's always more to find. It's tuberculosis. You helped me to contagious. see that. My husband Cal was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between oh, tuberculosis optimism and contagious. naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <laughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so uh -oh. many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. Did she drug me or is my it my father was very health overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. What is happening? <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. I think it's my sickness. Are you right? Can I get you some water? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> yeah, thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make <coughs> stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. I hate seeing Arthur like this. I think my mind is trying to come up with excuses to have anything but him being sick. I don't want him to be sick. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to My finally dear be Arthur. able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. No. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. A good man. We are a good man. Thank you, Charlotte. I don't know if I... I mean, okay. $100. $125. Thank you. I want Snoop. I don't need to Snoop. Well, that was kind hospitality. Where's Beans at? What's up, buddy? What's up, Beansy Boo? Beansy Boo, Beansy Boo. Marco Dredgic. Okay, let's go over here just because it's really close. So, Marco, I didn't record this, and I said this in my last video, I believe, or one of them last episode. He invented a remote control toy boat. Whoa. Basically use electricity and waves. Oh, hello. Legendary what? An elk or something? What rubs its tree rub? Moose tree rub. Ooh. Like, ooh. Is that a bear way up there? I see something way up there. Do you guys see that? I was about to point at my screen. <laughs> Do you guys see that thing right there? What am I looking for exactly? trail just stops in the middle of the water. Oh, I'm such a dunce. There we go.
coyotes or foxes over there. I'm sorry, this is taking me so long. Guys, look. Poop. Moose poop. I want to know if that was a bear up there. Where to now? dog right there. Alright, what is this? Fur. Moose fur. Getting close. Getting close. I don't have my fucking rifle. Beans, hurry up. This is time sensitive. That thing is massive. Look at Beans. Look at him go. That's my beansy boy right there. Come here, buddy. Good boy. It's not a albino moose, is it? All right, beans, let's go get our moose. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's huge. It looks... It looks like a... Fairy tale. What the f***? Mother... can't just do that. You can't just do that. Do I still have the wolf pelt on here? I do. I can store both on there. Dope. Where's the trapper at? Oh, this is the top of the map. Or is it? Maybe not. Who's this? Obadiah Hinton? 
Don't remember you. All right, trappers are way down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a quick trick, 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 quick trip. I'm gonna make a quick trip to the trapper. Yep. And then I'll, uh, and I'll head up to whatever. But I'm gonna pass forward. All right, hold on, everyone. Who is this? Oh, hey there. Uh, Pops will join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire. Oh. Okay. By the fire. Well, that's good. Now what? Huh. Bone dry. Rats. Now, we gotta get a new bottle. Seems I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whisk to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. Okay. Tell me about your sins. Drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing you soon enough. All right, bro. Take it easy. You're you're a place called Four Rigs, south of Strawberry. Okay. Kept Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. See, I wants to be killed or watch the other ones die. In a slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them go in the voice. But money don't last long. Mm -mm. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. I don't know the feeling. I was What'd you do? A young man then, but I still see their faces clear as yesterday. I do. What'd you do, bro? Choke on your throw up. I'm not gonna loot him. Wait. He's dead? I'm moving him. He has no need for his belongings anymore. I hate hearing that noise. Okay, anyways, I'm going back to the trapper. Three, two, one. Alright, trapper. I got something for you. Would you look at this pale old must have found them up north, right? For sure. Thirty-five for the legendary moose pelt. Well, it's been a little while, eh? So, <laughs> All right. 
Let's brush beans and then we'll be back on our way to go somewhere. Let's figure out where we want to go, actually. What are we close to? Strauss? Whoever was up here is gone now. The professor. The professor is gone. Let's just go to Strauss. All right, on our yeah. way. Rattlesnake. Fast again. Okay, boy. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. You drunk? Uh, I'm dead. Every morning I wish I wasn't in this place. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch uh, gonna be alright? Karen. Hey. Is Dutch gonna be alright? I have no idea. I'm worried about you. Oh, not you too. Leave me alone, all of you. Okay. Just checking. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. Good face. What face? What's wrong with you, Arthur? How you mean? <laughs> causing all this trouble just when we need to be united. Me causing trouble? What are you talking about? Causing no trouble. <laughs> I just ain't standing for any more lies. Ain't loyalty mean nothing to you? What are you talking about, Bill? I ain't for whatever nonsense my or Will, Dutch whatever your name is. And, well, I don't matter much anymore, but I ain't letting the women here die for that neither. I'm laughable. Pitiable. But it'll happen to you, too. They'll stop looking soon enough, and that glass in your hand won't be so friendly neither. Hey. Tell her, Mr. Morgan. Break it up. Tell her about time. I don't know too much about time, Miss Grimshaw. It's a bit beyond me. Well, maybe I'll get lucky and die first. Yes. All right, tensions are super high in the camp. Not good. Hopefully, Little Jack's doing okay. Mr. Strauss? Mr. Morgan. Here, Strauss. How are you? About. About how I look. Yep. Okay. Okay. Are you, um. Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are. Well. I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur, like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I I'm tired of doing your... They lacked your... Vigor. work. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. I don't want to hurt people anymore. Individuals that owe the gang money are marked on the map with the money sign, seek, blah, blah, blah. Gotta press M. Don't press escape. Alright, so this guy. And that's it. Is this the miner? Or is this... I don't know. Let's hop on beans and get out of here. What? Someone smashed the box. The box? What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. 
Why did they smash? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. <sighs> you want another one? Divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Whatever. Excuse me. Cover your mouth. Ew. Shut up. What's up, Jack? Hey, Jack. Morning, Arthur. How's it going? Doing all right. Micah said he'd take me fishing. Don't talk to Micah. Not to speak to him, okay? <laughs> sure, me and Arthur are on the same wavelength. Get out of here, dear. All right, let's go collect this moolah from Arthur Londonderry. What happens? Caught in the bear tracks, hit by a snake. Please, please, I can't Caught in the bear anymore. trap. You have to get this trap off of me, please. You all right? Oh, looks like I meant to disarm it. Come on, Arthur. Please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Save me. Mm. Keep pulling. I can feel it getting looser. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, you did it. Oh, oh. I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something. Here. Oh, oh, Mister, you. I thought. Who's gonna be all oh, go? Oh, tourniquets I I hurt. Be a oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Don't worry about it. Oh, here is yeah. some whiskey. This will help with the pain at least. Oh, oh yeah. All right, see you, bud. Back on the road. So many just side missions and suffering people. Planet Earth go crazy. I feel bad for all the horrible things people have to endure. Endure, endure. How do you guys say it? Hi there, mister. Hello, sir. What's wrong with you? Shut up. New journal entry. How did I have time to write in my journal? Another stranger over here. I'm about to run into this tree. Let's go talk to the stranger first. Or not. Beans, please. Am I crazy? Oh, okay, it's over here. I just went away on my little mini map. You okay, Beans? <laughs> You're right. Here's an apple. Jeez, Forget everything bad that just happened. Hey! You there! Sup? Can you help? With? 
Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My Sounds... goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not oh, too no. bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, mm. okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I got you, dude. I'll bear that in mind. Guys, I think I spotted Buell. Gonna study it real quick. Buell. There he is. You've got something. Understand what I'm supposed to do. Can I just look at those eyes? Yeah, I literally don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I just comment and then get on? It. Go easy, boy. Take it easy. Why am I so bad at games? This way. I'm a genius. Come on. Alright, I guess we won't talk to Strauss just yet, because the episode's running a bit long. We'll return this veteran's horse with his wooden leg. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. Yeah, buddy. Be good, you hear? I get be the notion boy. he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Come on, Buell. You guys want to see something funny? Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> 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 we ain't far now. None gonna spook you. Horse here. balls. <laughs> We're not so nasty. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not funny, guys. It's gross. Grow up. They're not gross. Don't say I that. I found him. You're a good man, That's Mr. Rude. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. Mr. Doctor. <laughs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, 
I guess. Jeez. So, uh, how is Moore the is awful. Run? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm going to put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Take care. All right. Calling it there. Thank you guys for watching. And... Little yawn for you. Um, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.